Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? So let's jump into who or what's coming towards you. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Aquarius. Who or what is coming towards them in love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Okay, we have lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. Love letter, message, confession, response. Us, oh, hold on. A special message is on its way. Hang on. Can I get one more? This could be a, a conversation or a message about commitment. What else for Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius in love? Divine timing. Wow. Faith, fortune, destiny. Trust in divine timing. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, I have happy ending. What? What is going on, Aquarius? This is amazing energy. So a message on its way. Divine timing. And it has something to do with commitment. So let's see what we can get. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit, for Aquarius. Who or what is coming towards them in love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. There's that message. We have the Magician. And the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Some sort of change is happening here or the end of a cycle perhaps every time death shows up you know every every door that closes there's another one that opens is that kind of energy so i'm wondering what that's about so let's see there's definitely a message coming in bottom of the deck i have the five of cups and the sun well those are very opposite energies there so we'll see oh i don't know what is going on with this deck it does not want me to Okay, let me shuffle this. Oh my God, I will get my hands. Okay, I will get it together, Aquarius. Just have some patience. Have some patience with me, okay? Tell me more, Spirit, for Aquarius. I just saw the Hermit, and okay. Okay, let's see. That feels better. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. That's what this Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this is someone expressing themselves. This is definitely love letter here. Can I get one more for this Knight of Swords? We have the Strength card. Leo Energy. Someone has having courage here to come forward it could also be that someone wants to bring back balance because the strength card is a card about regaining control of a situation that you know without using force can i get one more for this knight of swords wow we have judgment so this could definitely be somebody wanting a second chance or wanting to revive something um I have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so this could be a situation where you're not really together right now or something has happened in the in your in the past between you maybe that's why it, this requires courage oh i forgot to put this one back um courage let's see let's keep going tell me about the magician why is the magician here Oh, why is the magician here? 
have the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. There's way too many. But the Four of Wands is there. Can you get one more for the Magician? Mm. This Knight of Cups could be an apology for some of you here. The Hangman. And then have the Page of Wands. So with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hangman, I'm getting someone that's kind of just waiting. Wondering how something's going to play out. Wondering about the future. Wondering if something will be successful. Um, whatever they're manifesting, I feel like it has to do with love. With the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Wands. So it's almost like they're wondering if this message or the steps that they're taking towards whatever they're manifesting here or trying to make happen, whether that's going to work. Tell me about death. What's this about? Why is death here? Four Pentacles. Why is death here? Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Wands. And then the Ace of Cups after that, but wow. Something happened between you and this person. I feel like... This Ten of, Pen this ten of Cups, especially. It's, it's almost like this is someone who has held on to this. Maybe has waited but maybe time has passed between you maybe you haven't been together maybe someone felt left out abandoned or was shut out but i feel like some you know maybe both of you feel this way but at least one of you has still held on to this and the idea of a happy ending So let's see. Let's get some insight into this person. What are they? What do we need to know about them? Sorry, tell me about this person that Aquarius is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Privileged lady. Community. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Virgo, ruled by Mercury. Oh, okay, that's why I saw the Hermit earlier. So some of you could be dealing with someone who has kind of been doing their own thing or feels far from you, maybe has kept their distance or communication hasn't really been taking place. Because these cards, the Zodiac cards of my deck, the Stellar Rainbow deck, um, they can be the, the, obviously you could be dealing with a Virgo, but also it's tied to the Major Arcana as well, the Hermit. Can I get another one? Tell me about this person that Aquarius might be dealing with. Warm, kind, and affectionate. Interesting. 
feel like this person could be admiring you from afar, especially with privileged lady. I'm thinking of the Nine of Pentacles, someone that's doing very well for themselves. Um, and like communities, tell, it's almost like they, they can see you or, you know, like maybe there's like the gym or work or school or something. Um, maybe online, like a social media community or something. But it's almost like this person has affection for you. Queen of Cups also I'm thinking about here. So let's see. Let's get some insight into this person. Tell me more about this person. That Aquarius is or will be dealing with. I feel like a lot of you already know this person. Tell me about this person. What do we need to know about them? Once again, I get the all both cards at the same time. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. This person wants to talk to you. Can I get some more, please, about this person? They want to talk to you, especially with the Knight of Swords. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Can I get some more? This kind of one, this kind of stuff. The sun. And I feel like they're hoping for success, for happiness. Um, yeah, there's, and then there's the Five of Cups again. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups again with the Knight of Swords again. And then the Three of Swords. Yes, it's like someone here wants to apologize for something that happened. Or they have something to tell you about something that already happened. Um, I feel like they want to clear the air here. They could be coming to visit you to do this. Maybe you live you know, a long distance from them. Or they just want to kind of make a move here. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Four of Cups. Yeah, and it's almost like whatever happened, maybe they fear you're going to not accept them. Maybe they haven't been happy since they were with you. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. That's that lasting promise card, the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have the world. I feel like they're very serious about whatever they want to talk to you about. Um, I'm really hoping you're not dealing with someone that's already in a married type of commitment or like, um, I'm sorry, like a long-term commitment. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Okay. So either this is someone that wants it all with you, a happy ending, uh, a long-term successful commitment. Or perhaps this is what happened in the past. Something might have gotten in the way here. And now they fear that there is a lack of interest. Or perhaps they're not happy where they are, they're at. You know? Take it as it resonates. So let's see. Where is all of this headed? Move these over. Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Aquarius and this other person. I feel like this is someone that's going to communicate for sure. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's an apology. Where is all of this headed in the near future between Aquarius and this person? Judgment, yep. Tell me more. Where is all of this headed between Aquarius and this other person? Nine of Cups. I feel like someone's going to get their wish here. Knight of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. So an offer could be coming in here that you are probably not going to be sure about, Aquarius. If this person were to show up right now, would you accept their offer? If it was a genuine offer, let me know in the comments. Because I feel like this is someone that definitely I feel wants to try again. Or at least has thought about the past and learned from the past. 
and now wants to move forward because the the judgment card is all about learning from your mistakes and then moving on to the world right whole new cycle tell me about judgment I think it's some insight to judgment please death yep Scorpio energy. It could be that something already ended between you and this person, or this person is desiring a change in this connection for the better is what I'm feeling. Scorpio energy there. Can I get one more for judgment? Maybe this person has closed a cycle or is ready to close the cycle in their life. Four of pentacles. See, I still get the sense that with this card that someone's like holding on to something and then there's justice and the world i mean the wheel of fortune sorry with the queen of cups after that so we have justice libra energy and the world and the wheel of fortune not the world the wheel of fortune so it's almost like someone has hold on to this idea of making things right you know of having justice of having a change an opportunity good luck on their side tell me more about this judgment card can i get one more I'll get one more about judgment. Seven of Swords. And then the Lovers. Yeah. Gemini energy here with the Lovers. For some of you, you know, maybe this person... Um, it's almost like they need to be clever or strategic here. Yeah, and then I have the chariot again at the bottom of the deck with the king of wands. It's almost like cancer energy there with the chariot. It's almost like in order to get what they want, in order to have success, they have to think things. They have to think about things in a different way and approach things in a different way, especially with the lovers here, because the lovers is a choice, right, between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you and having that kind of help you with making a choice you know approaching a choice with either your heart or your mind i feel like this person is using their mind here not just their heart because their heart is definitely there's definitely um emotions here in some in some way because i had the knight of cups and the page of cups that came out can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. This is about choosing the right cup, the right option, the right approach. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Because they don't want this. Yeah, they don't want to the sun again. They don't want to have this be a failure. Basically, I feel like failure is not an option for this person. They want to succeed. So let's see, what's with this Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here with the Two of Pentacles? Two of Wands, yeah. I feel like in their mind, this could go either way. It's going to be up to you, Aquarius, whether you accept this offer or not. It's going to be a serious offer. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're at it. I feel like you are doing very well for yourself. Single, probably, or independent, very successful, maybe an entrepreneur. And they know that. Um, they know that maybe you are too good for them. <laughs> but they're going to try anyway. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. The Fool. Yeah, they're going to take a risk and try to make this offer anyway. And we can see that. Um, because they, they have a goal here. <clears throat> they want to start something new. I don't know if they want to start something new again or if they want to start something new altogether because I feel like some of you already know this person. But this is someone that's definitely going to reach out, um, communicate something. I feel like it's most likely an apology or an offer that and it's almost like they want to maybe talk about the past what already happened in order to kind of make you understand that they're different or they 
um, they've learned from the past or they've grown, something like that. Um, they're ready to make changes, you know, with the death card here. And that they've held on to you, you know. And I feel like all this is happening in divine timing. So, um, definitely, uh, this is someone that's not, failure is not an option for them. So they're going to do what it takes, basically. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting a like button, subscribing, or leaving me a comment. Um, they're all ways to support the channel for free, and it helps us grow. It shows others the video here on YouTube, because it tells YouTube that you're interested. So um, YouTube kind of pumps up the video and shows it to other people. And that way I can kind of show this message to anybody that needs to hear them. Um, thank you to everyone who does that, who takes the time out of their day to leave a kind comment. It does not go unnoticed. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.